pursuing God in such a, a focused and directed way, there's no doubt about that. You've got this spearhead as a warrior to move forward, and that's been one of your spurs to be here. But what is God? How do you quantify <laughs> God? How do you hold on to God? Can you hold on to God? Can you touch God? Can you feel God? Can you taste God? What is yeah, God? Yeah. Sure. I guess for me, um, one of the main ways that you find God is when you truly surrender your life to Him. I, I say this to some people sometimes, that the key to life is actually death. When you die to you, yourself and you choose then to offer yourself up to God, it's there that then you start to experience the life of Christ in you. A lot of it is through prayer, a lot of it is through worship, and in those moments hearing God speak to me, in those moments being in His presence, experiencing His love, seeing him work in my life in many different ways is that personal time you spend with God and you know some people think that their Christian life is, is going to church on a Sunday and that's it and worshipping with, with the congregation but I would say it takes place firstly in your own secret place with God in your own home where no one's seeing and it's between you and God and you meet with him through the Bible and through prayer and and, and through worship and, and, and listening and, and spending that time with God. I think that's the foundation really of, of encountering God in, in your life. And, and from that encounter it will lead you to to want to serve God as well and to want to love people and reach out to people. But I guess it starts with you making that time for God and, and meeting with God in that kind of way.